you know, I really don't want to say it, but it's just difficult that I was fighting depression and alcoholic. So yeah, here are five things that I'm fighting depression. One, I find it difficult that making friends for me is just that others don't like me because they don't know me or anything in my college and second thing ex-friends or ex-girlfriends some people don't like me because of my learning disability my di and it's called discrimination and it's horrible to them And the third thing about my parents, yeah, my parents are being overprotective to me just to stop me from being independent. Yeah, they put me on a school that I was I wasn't allowed to leave school until I was nineteen. Which was a waste of my siblings left school when they were 16 and I was really upset and annoyed and they didn't tell me that. I was trying I was trying I was trying to be independent and loyalty. And I was making myself contribution. And the fourth thing is is bullying. They call me a nonce or or a geek. And my ex friend, yeah, in my college, saying yelling at me that he said that he doesn't want to work with me. And I was really devastated because. When I was 19 in my college, yeah, it's just that, it's just that the rest of the group are horrible to me because they don't like me and I was really depressed and gutted. They, I just really find it difficult because Sometimes I just don't like homework. So yeah, I left when I was 21 because I didn't want to be in college while I was a proper adult. So yeah, so yeah. And now on the fifth thing. Everybody around the world. Trolls. Haters. They name it. And plus, scammers. I really wanted help because I've been scammed by those Nigerian scammers. Always needed my help, trying to pretend that they wanted food or wanted surgery. Because they're trying to stop me from saving up money. It's just financially harming. And yeah. And everyone around the world. Yeah. Hate me because of my learning disabilities. And. Like that. Yeah, oh, yeah, and every time I when I was a kid, I was abused by my own dad for what I did wrong. And I just couldn't think of it. And 
whoever's like me, you'll suffer from sadness or anxiety and depression and getting stressed, even self-harming themselves. Just like I cut myself when I was 19, I was really anxious, really stressed, just felt hitting myself or hurting myself and just basically that's it. It's just however you feel sad you would make things worse than yourself. Self just like that. And yeah, I used to have scars there. Now I'm covered in tattoos because I like. So yeah, I mean, what can I say? Oh, they're just trying to make me take criticism or try to make me fit. Try to make me feel down. So yeah, whatever you do, there's, there's a fight for it, you're not alone, there's the only main thing that you should do, if, you, if you've been bullied or been abused, or you know everyone who's been abused, you, you might tell someone immediately. So yeah, here are my thoughts it's on that one. And you know what? I have suicidal. In fact, I was thinking about killing myself, but I thought I, I thought I was wrong. And you'd think about this way: they'll put you. On, on social distance. Just think about it. Don't let everyone get to you. No matter what. This, this is how people make fun of you. Well, during your school. And yeah. So yeah, that'll be it for now. And um, so yeah, thank you for watching and stay safe. So yeah, so yeah, take care now, stay safe.